Hey everybody, I'm Garrett and these are reviews from Mob.org. Let's go! Well, we have quite a remarkable game today. I could say something like, the little kids won't get it, but the game is so famous that it's known even to people who didn't catch it at the beginning of mid-90s. Welcome, Contra on your mobile device. Actually, Contra is one of the biggest cult games for the NES. The game could safely contend with such giants as Mario or Battle City. It's possibly because of dynamic gameplay, epic huge bosses, which were evidently drawn under the influence of Giger, and the heroes themselves, which were very much like the heroes of action films of that time, and the graphics. They were incredibly good for that time period, and I even have difficulty in remembering another Dendi game which could contend with Contra. Alright, that fact leads us to the sad point of the story. Because the graphics here, you can see for yourself, they aren't the same. Well, the levels seem to be the same as in your childhood, and everything else seems to be the same too, but the graphics, they're different. It was kind of improved, but after the improvement, the game seems to be more of a reproduction than an original. It lost some nostalgic notes, and this isn't good, as the game was made for the sake of nostalgia, or was it made for the sake of money? Let's examine the game point by point. The gameplay. Contra for consoles was famous for something else, aside from graphics and dynamics. It was the game's difficulty. The game was difficult even for those times, and tended to defile players all the time. So, the present game has saved its former hardcore principles. We have the same three lives for the whole game, and you die after being hit, and it doesn't matter by whom, a boss or a button man. Though, you have an opportunity to buy extra lives here, and, as you probably guessed, it will require real money. I took offense at first, Donation has no place in Contra. And then I remembered my old console. It didn't offer me to be revived for some amount of money. It just killed me and my friends with delight over and over again, making me furious. So, donation can be attributed to the game's minuses. But on the other hand, if you play Contra, be ready to die. You'll do it often. Lastly, let's talk about the innovations just a little. Each mission ends with statistics, and you can choose which character you are at the beginning. Besides Bill Riser and Lance Bean, known from your childhood, there are also two female characters present. One of the ladies is armed with a katana, and I have no idea how to play Contra with a sword. Let's wrap it up. The pluses. Actually, it's the same Contra. The levels alternate between the traditional running left to right, jumping up the rocks, and back view with pseudo 3D effects that I admired as a little boy. Minuses. As I've already told you, we got out of the habit of hardcore in the games, so donation bothers me a little. But not so much as the copied graphics. To my mind, it was absolutely unnecessary. But all in all, I recommend the game for those who used to play Contra then, and for those who didn't get the chance. That's all for today. If you liked it, then subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and share the video with your friends. This was Garrett and Reviews from Mob.org. See you soon.